So, hey everyone, I am live. I'm currently doing a sleeping recipe with you all. And I did all the prep work ahead of time, so you guys could just write down the recipe for you. So what you need is a pot for water, your pasta of your choice. Usually I use um, pasta, banners, that kind of thing. We're gonna do that. I'm just gonna edit this. All right. Thanks to the three of you who are watching. Make sure you like the video. I'm going to share this out. Okay, guys, let me just get this out on Instagram right now. Going live right now, talking about my mushroom carbonara dish, just so it's easier. It's all on YouTube. So go over to my YouTube channel now and click on where the live button is. All right, we'll see you guys soon. All righty. Hey, Carolyn Life. I'm doing all right. So we're going to start cooking our dish now. And we lost some water due to the boiling process, so I'm going to add some more. So we are making mushroom coming up. And if you hear me, make sure you guys are saying, saying hello in the chat. And I'm going to say hello to you all. Or you can message me on social media if you're using social media to find me. What you guys are going to need for the recipe is a pan to cook the sauce, a pot, of boiling water with salt, first thing you do, and then you want to cut out button mushrooms. You can use white mushrooms or baby bella. I've decided to use baby bella for this recipe. You need five, six eggs, five whole, one whole, and six egg yolks. You want to separate the yolk from the white. You need six six shallots. I'm trying to tilt the camera down so you can see it. Six shallots. And you can use either two shallots, a red onion in a pinch. I used a white onion and it worked fine. And then you just need a whisk. And I think that's it. So right now I'm going to pot of boiling water starting. And whatever you decide to use, make sure you use it in enough time. So today I'm using spaghetti as my pasta of choice. I'm just waiting for the pasta to reboil. Make sure you do what's going. I know it's not going to be as many people because there's not one live streaming, but By the way, they're only here. Um, some people are watching Resort TV One. Some people are watching Corey Meets World. And I know it's the start of the evening lineup. So, uh, I know uh, uh, Gonzo's on right now. And then Disney Dam was on just recently. So, um, and then what you're going to do to make the sauce, which is the liquid part, you're going to do, you're going to separate, you're going to have one whole egg and five egg yolks. So you're going to separate those out. And in about one and a quarter cups or four ounces of Parmesan. 
and you're going to whisk that together. That's your sauce. And then put um, one and a half teaspoons of pepper if you like pepper, but do your pepper up to your taste. So once the water has boiled, I'm going to use that. You're also going to need some extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to grab that now. You're also going to need olive oil. And if you guys are just joining us, make sure you guys say hello in chat. So I'm just grabbing a thing. You're going to heat it over. What are you going to do after you're going to heat this up? If you guys want the recipe, the recipe is on Bon Appetit. Um, so if you like a mushroom carbonara, foam beach, it's going to be there. So I'm going to heat this up on a medium high heat for three minutes. You want this pan to get really hot. And yeah, so you're going to have a medium high heat. All right. So we're going to wait a minute. Three minutes for that, and you want olive oil and a fourth of a cup measuring ready to go. The first thing you're going to do after that pan is heated up, you're going to dump your pasta in. This one, I think, um, I think this is the rest of the angel hair, right? What? What's in here is angel hair, right? It's not a slick. Right? So angel hair is like such a ignorant thing. Right. Seven to eight minutes, and this is angel hair, so I'm gonna use it for seven to eight minutes. And it's unusually. Let's see, a uh, pan and cup of oil. Cook tossing once every four to five minutes. And so the mushrooms are mostly full of fat. It's going to take 13 to 16 minutes. So we're going to wait until that's at least brown before we continue. And if you guys, thank you to the three of you who are watching. Make sure you're, if you guys are watching, to do this. Actually, I'm going to put up the recipe so you guys could follow along if you guys would like. So I'm going to do that now. Alrighty, so this is the recipe we're using. We're gonna do this. So we're using, um, this is the recipe you wanna look up. It's a mushroom carbonara dish. And that's the dish we're making today. Oh no, the freezing. Guys, are you seeing me? Okay, we're good. Alrighty, so this is the recipe we're making today. You guys want the recipe, the recipe's on Bon Appetit, all right? So this thing is, I'm feeling some heat right now. We're gonna let it go for another minute or so. And then we'll start adding the olive oil. And then you wanna use extra virgin olive oil if you can, but I'm using this one that's made for um, sauteing, which is what this is for. And then the pasta's at a boil, which is great. So yay for that. Perfect, all right, it's been a minute. So we're gonna take a quarter cup of olive oil. I don't know how that's converted in UK measurements, but a fourth of a, that's, I thought that was half, but it's a quarter of a cup. You want to put that in your pan? Luckily, the pan has gotten a little warm already just from the, um, just from the pasta water, which is good. Um, let's see what's next on the recipe. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop doing that for now. I just need to make sure I'm following the recipe correctly because it's been a minute since I've done this. Okay, toss mushrooms, and you're gonna toss in the mushrooms along with the quarter cup of olive oil. 
All right. All righty, and you're gonna you're gonna toss it every four to five minutes. And I use one of these guys, a wooden spatula. You need to have one of these in your kitchen. This matters. And this is out of boil, so luckily we're good there. For about 10 minutes. So, and this is for 10 into 10. So, we're going to do it in about 13 minutes. We're going to do it at 13 minutes. So, I'm going to 10 minutes at 13. Actually, I'm going to it for 12 minutes, is what he said. So, we're going to put it on for 12 minutes. Is this enough pasta or are we going to do more? All right, instead of pasta, we are making it. You're going to make it with, again, instead of angel hair. And if you guys are just joining us, thank you for joining. Make sure you guys will have a little in chat. Um, we are making mushroom carbonara at the moment. And we are currently cooking the mushrooms on medium high heat on a pan with a quarter cup of olive oil. And you want to boil a pot of water with it beside me. I'm going to scoot the tail to the camera so you guys can see. Um, <laughs> All right. Hey, Josh goes to Disney. Hey, nice seeing you. We are making a mushroom carbonara. We're gonna make sure these stay. We are just making sure these things get golden brown. Then we have a pot of water. This is basically carbonara, but it's a vegetarian version. It's gonna be so yummy, yo. I wish I could have a secondary camera so you can look at the, um, the mushrooms cooking because it smells so good. And these, obviously, you're gonna want to put more mushrooms than you normally do because it's gonna um, wilt down. So. If you only use one thing of mushrooms, you're not going to have very much. So I've done two this time, and hopefully it's enough. We put them in bigger slices than before, so hopefully they'll be in bigger chunks. It's seeming to be true, but never know these days. I love the mushroom, guys. And if you ask me like five or six years ago, I like it. I like you're crazy. I like made it mushroom section, but now that I got older, made it mushroom just so good. And I like in the, oh, and a big tip for mushrooms: make sure you guys are not putting salt on mushrooms until they are completely browned. Otherwise, they turn gray when they cook. Pro tip. So what I'm doing is browning some, um, two packages of mushrooms, either cut if they're small in half or um, if they're whole, you're going to cut them uh, in bigger pieces, you're going to cut them into four and you have to take the stem out. You're going to cook this with spaghetti today, but normally I use zucchini. And Dan's here. Hi, Dan. Uh, Disney Nuts is a great episode. I was starting to make dinner with you ahead of time. Make sure you hit that like button. Yes. <laughs> Dan's like, no, not mushrooms. Dan, my parents are, are, my mom and my sister are meat eaters, and they like the baking version of this, but actually, after they tried this recipe, they actually liked it better than the meat version. Hard to believe, but I can test them. Actually, I probably can probably say, hey, mom, you guys like the recipe better than the baking version, right? 
Yeah. So we are just writing some mushrooms. I can cut these now. We're cutting these in a quarter of a cup of olive oil. I'm just taking these all over so that they're good. So basically, we're just taking the basic carbonara dish and we're turning it upside down. And by the way, I do have my schedule for next week, so I will be sending you a DM in terms of our stream. Very excited for it. Very, very excited. And these mushrooms are starting to look fantastic. I wish I had my phone here on a tripod so I could show you guys the look of some of these mushrooms. And they smell awesome. And actually, they're browning a lot quicker than I thought they would. They would be. But yeah. I'm actually going to cut this. I'm going to start the spaghetti actually in three minutes or so. Um, the next step after this is you're going to go back to the mushrooms. Once they go to this, we're at about medium to medium high heat right now. Once these are completely browned, we're going to go back to medium low and we're going to add our garlic and shallots we don't have shallots today we use a white mushroom a white onion which works perfectly fine and a salt which you grab some we we don't have a smaller container because we just threw it out but we can use that and make sure if you guys are here make sure you guys are clicking the like button and if you guys are new to my channel make sure you guys subscribe and if you guys want to share out the stream to other people or any other vegetarians you know who want a good recipe, you can come here. I think I'm going to make this a series on Instagram, make it an IGTV series. But if you guys want it here on YouTube, make sure you guys let me know. Um, I'm not new to the vegetarian lifestyle. So say that. These are looking so good. Actually, these are browning very nicely. Because you only want the, um, the mushrooms. And to give you an idea of how much mushrooms were in this pan, it was kind of overflowing on the sides. Now they're barely covering, I'd say, about a good half of the pan. So they do wilt very much while I'm cooking. So after this, you're going to put in all the garlic, onion, and half, one and a half teaspoons of salt. You're going to cook, stirring often until aromatics are softened but not brown. So you don't want the onions or the garlic to turn brown about 30 to 60 seconds. Oh yeah, to move some of the pasta water, dang it. Alrighty. All right, I think I'm gonna cook. I think I'm gonna start the pasta. I'm gonna get the pasta going. I'm gonna keep it whole today. Usually I don't. Today we're gonna mix things up. We're gonna put these in two sections so they don't go crazy with the pan. I always do it over the sink. But just like that, I made a huge mess. Luckily, it's a fairly clean stove. So I'm putting in the pasta right now. We are using spaghetti pasta today. I'm going to cook this in about seven minutes, so four minutes after my timer goes off. Hey Siri, set a timer for seven minutes. Okay. All righty, well, uh, that's why I love Siri, because I can set a timer on very quickly. I'm going to turn down heat just a little bit. And you always want to stir pasta for the first 30 seconds because that's when the most starch comes out of pasta is when it first goes in the water. Usually try to keep it in whole strings, but sometimes you're not, you don't get that lucky. Okay. 
So I hope everyone's having a good day so far. I already went live earlier today talking all about Disney College program cancellations and what I think the future of the Disney College program looks like. I think it looks bright, but you guys can go back and watch that video. All right, these look fantastic. I think it's time to add some of the ingredients. So we're gonna add the onion first. So I have onion, I, I cut one whole onion, one white onion is going in to the pot. And I'm gonna stir that in so it doesn't splatter the garlic. And we're gonna put this on medium low. Perfect. All right, so I just want to make sure that's good. And then you want to put six cloves sliced really thin into the pot. And it's on my really awesome, uh, really awesome orange burger. And you're going to stir this in for about 60 seconds until you start smelling, smelling it. And the onions and the garlic have softened, but not turned brown. You don't want these to turn brown. For now, mushroom has gone vogue. I have clean hands, people. All right, let's take some of these onions. They're already getting soft already, which is great. You might have put more onion than you wanted to, but that's okay. That's fine. And Dan, mushrooms are amazing. If you don't like them, try it. You may have not tried it in the best way. Best way I've learned to try mushrooms and like it is if it's seasoned with something. Um, and speaking of that, I didn't season it with salt. So I'm season it with salt now. Enough. Stir it in. I actually like my garlic to have a little bit of color, but um, I'm gonna move this onto low heat so that way it doesn't completely brown on us. I'm gonna show you what this mushroom mixture looks like. Looks like kind of like a colored. You want the mushrooms to get some color, but you don't want the garlic to burn and you don't want the onions to get completely browned. And if you guys have anyone who are vegetarians that you want, no one, um, no like some good recipes, share them out here. My timer ended, so it's about 30, so we're already at 12 minutes on the mushrooms. We can do another minute here. And then I'm going to turn this heat completely off. Hope everyone's having a good day. And if you guys are here and new, make sure you guys are saying hello in the chat or Telling us maybe what's your favorite recipe you've ever made? Maybe that should be the question of the day on the stream. Because I didn't, didn't do one of my earlier streams. You guys, um, tomorrow's show, you can't miss it. Tomorrow's show is going to be all about my bucket list things with Disney. And we're going to do it at 69 here. Hey, Siri. How much time do I have left on my timer? Two minutes. And seconds to go. Alrighty, I'm gonna test one of these pasta strings, see how close they are. I'm just gonna stir it just so it doesn't stick. I'm a, I'm a pasta whiz. Pasta whiz. And then the sauce, guys, if you guys are just coming in, the sauce is just five whole eggs or yeah, no. Five egg yolks and one egg white or i'm sorry one egg yolk five egg yolks and one whole egg and that's the entire sauce now the key to the sauce is how you make it and it's pretty simple if you figure it out i didn't want that to bother the sauce all right i'm going to turn the heat on low because this is exactly how i like the sauce to be All right, the sauce, the mushrooms are exactly how I like it. So I'm gonna put it on a low heat, so that way that doesn't brown anymore. 
We're going to test the pasta. Always test your pasta before finishing. And you want it a little al dente because it's going to cook in the sauce a little bit. So let's see how close I am. This is actually two minutes shy. And actually, it's pretty close. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna drain this pasta out. I'm terrible when it comes to draining. Um, I need my strainer. Forget about that. So you wanna, I have this cool pot that has like holes built into the lid. So all you have to do is line it up. And there's arrows that match up where it's supposed to land. And we are going to put a big bowl in here. We're going to put a little bowl in here to get some of the pasta water from our beer drink today. Alrighty, pasta's done cooking. So we're gonna let this cook, drain. I don't know how the best way I'm gonna do this, but we're gonna try it. And for those of you who are glasses wearers that don't like pasta going crazy on you when you drain pasta, you can um, run cold water. That's what I'm gonna do right now. We're gonna put it on a minus We're gonna combat the hot water that's being drained. So we're going to turn off the heat. And I put a bowl in the pot for the pasta water to go. All right, I got as much water as I put it out of the pasta. Okay. All of this, I'm gonna let that sit in here for just a little bit just so that the pasta water gets crazy. So I have the pasta now. It's a little bit shy. The only reason why it's shy is because it's gonna go off the heat in just a moment here. Alrighty, so you want this completely on low. Once the mushrooms are completely done, and these mushrooms on this looks amazing. And it's not even the best part is gonna happen yet. That's the best part, is that there it's not even done yet. You're gonna make sure the heat is off and let it sit on its side for just a little bit, just so it's not piping hot, because that's the key to this recipe. You don't want everything to be piping hot. Otherwise, the pasta will stick. And you don't want sticky pasta, that is for sure. Okay, what I usually do with pasta anyways, is I usually put a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter into the pasta just to make sure that it has a little bit of salt if it didn't get salt. So I usually will put one half tablespoon of butter into the pasta and it usually helps with the sauce too for me the sauce won't get as oily if you put butter on it because it's kind of slightly helps with the seasoning and sometimes and dan i need to ask you what's wrong with mushrooms you need to answer me on this because i don't know what you you don't like about mushrooms but mushrooms is so good all right this pasta almost done the heat on this mushrooms is almost where I like it to be for the sauce to start doing its job. 
And then make sure before you guys add the sauce to the pasta, you want to give it a good mix because sometimes it will separate from it sitting there. And make sure you're mixing it around. And you guys, for just for those of you just joining in, we are making a mushroom carbonara. We are finishing out this dish, which is awesome. So what you're going to do at the end, you're going to make sure that the pasta water is going to go in at the same time as your pasta. And you want this to go on low heat. Hello, Tim. Um, add pasta with one cup of pasta looking water. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, so we're going to put this back on medium or medium to low heat. Medium low. And we're going to add the pasta water to this. The reason why I let it cool for a little bit is because the mushrooms are brand new in it. We're going to add all this pasta. And about one cup of this mixture. So we're going to put it in a cup. Hey Siri, how many cups are in 11 ounces? Oh, perfect. perfect, so it'll fit. Uh, Tim says, I like mushrooms, I'll eat. Dan share. Yeah! <laughs> I need to ask Dan why he has a problem with the mushrooms. Because mushrooms are so yummy, and they're so good for you. Alrighty. So I have one cup of pasta cooking water. So this was in with the pasta. You're going to add the pasta in. And actually, what I'm going to do, instead of keeping this in the pan, I'm going to turn on this pot. I'm going to put it on medium heat with the pasta. I'm going to add the mushroom mixture into that. So we have mushroom, six cloves of garlic, thinly sliced. And we use, you can use two shallots, a red onion. Today, I used a white onion, because that's how we have it. Just add it in. Trying to get everything out of this pasta. And I kept the rest of the pasta water aside in case we needed it. And I'm going to turn this heat off. Alrighty, we're going to mix this up. All right, so then with this pasta, you're going to add one cup of pasta water because we cooked it shy of the entire time that we put in the water. So I cooked it two less minutes than I normally cook spaghetti and to allow the rest of it to heat up. I'm going to test in about a couple minutes here make sure it's cooked. So right now, all we have is pasta water, the mushrooms, and the garlic. And this pasta does not want to stir with the mushrooms right now. I'm trying to get this to mix all about. I need to ask you guys in the comments, what is your favorite pasta to make? Or what's your favorite dish to make? Can you answer it in the comments? If you have a must dish, like your must pasta dish that you have to make when you're making pasta, let me know. And then most of the mush the vegetarian the meat options I can substitute for either mushrooms, which I like prefer. Alrighty. We're gonna test the pasta. Luckily I kept my orange bird plate from the garlic. And that's gonna be our testing. So let's see how this is. Almost there. Okay. 
Alrighty, we are just gonna mix this about. We are gonna All right, you guys, we're almost there. All right, it's been a couple more minutes, so let's double check it one more time. All right, this is really good. All right, we're going to let this cool for about a minute. Reason why is you want the sauce to turn into a bottle of cooked egg. You do not want that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the, the mushroom sauce we made earlier, and we're gonna put it into the pasta. And it's gonna make this, this is why it makes it such a creamy dish so good. So I'm gonna take the whisk out, because I think this is thoroughly whisked. And I'm going to add just a little bit of more pasta water just to ensure that this thing is cooked. Because what it does, pasta water, if it isn't cooked, it'll most likely evaporate. Alright, we're gonna let this sit. Let me make sure this pasta water it looks like it's pasta water is already absorbed already, which is fantastic. This should be good now. So make sure it's not. I think this is ready for transfer. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna scoot this in the middle, just so it's not in the heat anymore. Take the sauce that we made, and actually, let me just grab a spoon real quick. Make sure I get all the sauce in. This is the last part of the sauce. I'm gonna take the sauce we made earlier, and you're gonna make sure to add it to the sauce. You want to be pretty quick when it comes to this because otherwise it's going to turn into scrambled eggs and trust me, you do not want that. Okay, let's go ahead and start mixing it. I can always add the rest later. Okay. Alrighty, pasta is taking the sauce, making it creamy. The heat of the pasta will allow the, the, the eggs to cook. And <laughs> Carolyn, it's just for my family. But I appreciate you thinking of all of you in the chat. But well, you guys can make this here on your own if you guys like. It's a pretty easy recipe. A lot of cooks make this because it's not time consuming. I'm going to add a little bit to the pasta just so that the egg doesn't fit together. All right, that should be enough pasta water. And you want to cook this to where it's a creamy mixture. That's why I add some pasta water in. Please. 
Look at how delicious and yummy this is. Yum. Alrighty, you guys ready to see this? Alrighty. We're going to make my mom's first plate. Because she's the woman of the house, and I think she deserves to eat first. So here's the pasta. Alrighty. We're going to make sure we added some mushroom to this. Alrighty, so here you guys go. This is the dish, mushroom carbonara, and I'm going to finish it there. So thank you guys for all for watching. Thanks you guys for sharing this. If you guys want to find the recipe, the recipe is on Bon Appetit. Make sure you just search mushroom carbonara. It'll show up there. And I will see you guys all tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Catching Up with Kate. So make sure you all have a magical day, and I will see you at my next live stream tomorrow. Don't miss it. It's going to be a good episode.